It seems that all of a sudden everybody is talking about blockchain. It is no doubt the hottest topic nowadays. Many artists also believe that blockchain will empower them. So our next speaker is going to elaborate on this topic and also tells us. How, also, he will going. Uh, he's going to tell us what museum is museum with a Z. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Po Chan Wu, managing partner of KK Farm. Hello, hello everyone. I'm Po Chan from KK Farm. Uh, KK Farm is the investment arm of KK Bus Group. So we're focusing on uh, investing early stage startup that doing creative content. But we also do the uh, music distribution platform called Soundscape that Sean show in his slide, slides. And, uh, but today, we want to talk about museum. That's an uh, open protocol that we proposed for the creative industry based on the tech, uh, blockchain technology. So let's start. Before talking about museum, we want to take some time to look what has blockchain achieved to date. So every Everybody know Bitcoin? So Bitcoin digitized the currency. And like Bitmark, they digitized the property. And Ethereum, it digitized the rights and obligations and computing. So we can do smart contract with contract, execution, and mandatory. It's a new way of rights and obligations. But can copyright be digitized? If we are doing copyright protection and we're doing a digital content protocol, can copyright be digitized? Let's look at a uh, definition of copyright, okay? It's from uh, Wikipedia. Copyright protects only the original expression of ideas and not underlying ideas themselves. So how can we digitize the something that's protect only the original expression, but we do want the expression to spread as widely as it can. So how to protect copyright? Uh, we did try a lot of ways to, to do that in the digital world. But uh, yeah, DRM. It's the last thing that we try very hard to achieve. But uh, these are the images that I searched DRM in Google. So it didn't look very well, right? So if we cannot protect copyright uh, completely, how can we reduce piracy? We do have some ways, like make privacy cost more than using genuine uh, content. That the experience of genuine be much greater than piracy. I think the first two uh, many platform, content platform, have already done, done it. Like uh, streaming service, KKBox, they do a pretty good job. But uh, we do have one way. How to make licensing and royalty payment easier. That's what we want to, what we want to achieve in a museum. So I made, a, uh, I made a small conclusion here. Copyright is protected by laws. Yeah, we do have copyright laws in every country. And uh, the laws protect copyright. And the copyright is from the law. But uh, execution of copyright license can be protected by the blockchain. So that's what we want to do. So after looking at the copyrights, let's take some time to look at the pain point of music industry. Music industry is the uh, biggest, how to say that? We got the most pain from the internet, right? The records in the crash, then we haven't really found a way to recover from the crash. 
So what's the pain point? Let's take a look, take a look at the complex licensing routes right now. So from the composer, lyricist, producers, that's the original rights owner, to the users, exploiters, we do have many middlemen and uh, society to do the licensing and do the royalty distribution for us. But uh, it's a very painful experience. I'm a musician myself. Uh, usually you should wait we should wait about uh, three to six months to get your royalties. And maybe sometimes even longer, like one year. And uh, sometimes you didn't get your royalty. Like me, my first and second album, I didn't get any royalty from the, from, the, from the music label. That's a very bad thing. So in a... The efficient technologies. That's the technologies that we use for licensing. So that, let, let us check. Excel, our best friend, right? We use it for a long time. Uh, email, FTP. And uh, the greatest uh, in invention of a uh, human, this paper, right? And the printing. So we do have some... A uh, newer technology called uh, DDAX, that's um, digital data exchange standards for us. But it's not really a vision. So how can we change this? The pain points of music industry right now, first, the copyright data scatters everywhere. Yeah. We don't have a place that we can look for the right information in only one place. It's very painful for all the, all the users who want to do the licensing, who want to use the content. And we, we, we do not have a standard data format right now for all the copyright information and the content information. And it's hard to settle royalty payments and the licensing is just what I showed is very complicated. So that's what that's why we proposed Museum as an open protocol for creative industry based on blockchain technology. So before, that's what we've seen. But after, we want to achieve that the creators, the content owner, the copyright owners can directly licensing and do the royalty payment between the end users. But it's a long way to go to achieve the, uh, the goal. So we must do the infrastructure first for the licensing. And uh, we, need to create in, we, we need to create a public database for content and copyright. And uh, we need a better digital property management system. And we also need to have a smart contract and open API to do the new licensing framework. So this is the technical architecture of museum. In every museum node, we integrate three technology, distributed technology. First is Ethereum. We use Ethereum smart contract to do the uh, revenue split and uh, licensing and endorsement. And we also use Bitmark as our digital property blockchain. Because in the content industry, we do have very uh, precious content assets for each creating, creation. And how to protect the content. And only that the people with ownership can decrypt and to access the content. Bitmark does a very good job. And also we try to use the IPFS, the decentralized storage to uh, build the public database. We generate linked data and we store it in the IPFS. So everyone on the internet can access the linked data to get what they want and uh, to, to, to get the right information for the copyright and content. 
So we have some features. First is talent certificate. So you can directly uh, validate or endorse or certificate the talent. That's, that's a way to uh, avoid the central authority or a big association to control all the validation. So you can trust with the records, with endorsement made by the ones you trust. That's the way we, uh, to avoid a control of the powerful association. And another feature is what we talked about, the licensing and payment, peer-to-peer. -peer. So from uh, creators, or if creators want to uh, interest uh, society or labels to, to handle their rights, that's fine. But they can directly do licensing and payment with the user and the application platform. So not only uh, the uh, licensing smart contract signing and uh, digital assets exchange, transfer, and uh, link data that we generate is directly between peer to peer. And the royalty split is uh, automated, executed on blockchain. So when a user buy the album, or listen to the album, or pay for the album, we can directly split the revenue to the songs in the album. And then we can directly split to each creators and the rights holders of each songs. And like I said before, right now, for now, we need to wait three, four, three to six months to get a, a revenue payment. But right now, we can achieve, uh, we can do it in about uh, within one hour. But blockchain and uh, distributed technology is very, it's just, it's just thriving, but it's very, very young, very new. We still have things to overcome. For, exa for example, in, uh, from the industry layer, the standardization is a human thing, so it's very hard to really come convince or to have a consensus of the standardization. That's harder than the, the, the consensus protocol in the blockchain, I think, because that's the consensus of machines, but this consensus of human. And uh, decentralized identity. If we want to identify every content in a single unit, in a single uh, uh, public blockchain, a uh, public database in blockchain, how can we give them a decentralized identity? how everyone can recognize and uh, they can approve. That's the decentralized identity standardization. From the technology layer, uh, distributed database. Right now, the distributed database technology is, uh, we do have some, but uh, it's very hard to do the query. It's not as good to use like the uh, relative database that we very used to use right now. So, it, needs, it still needed to be developed. And uh, blockchain scalability, yeah, everyone knows that. We, we, we cannot do very, a lot of transactions right now. So, that's the few things that we have to overcome. So, from the, the core, the technical structure to the protocol, the protocol I mean is more, more like the industry pro, industrial protocol. Uh, we want to build many applications for the ecosystem. And uh, the user, the participants, can use the application to join the ecosystem. So it's extremely hard to, to talk to the industry, like uh, what is blockchain, how to use it, what is the protocol means. So uh, take it far, we want to do something. Next step we're gonna do an application. That application is a collaborative platform for the, all the leading musicians and powered by the copyright organization. We want to set an example for the industry of how to use blockchain and what blockchain can achieve. And 
it can really change the landscape of the industry. So that's museum. And uh, we really want to build a new ecosystem for the music economy. So welcome everybody to join us. Thank you. Thank you, Pochon.